Hi, Pete Moritz of Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmark Television. What we have here is a classic. It's an Anschutz. German quality, German engineering. You can't really beat it. This is a little bit different. It's the 1416 uh, with an 18 inch barrel, which some, myself included, might think is a little bit long for a 2.2, um, with what uh, they call the British thumbhole stock. I love thumbhole stocks, I really do. They're superb. I've got a number of my rifles. But uh, this is beautiful. If you've never shot an Anschutz, you're really missing out because it's just a really impressive rifle. So this is in 2.2 rimfire. Um, it's sort of more what I would call a varmint style build. The barrel is slightly heavier, uh, but it comes up nicely. As you can see, nice stock, hand goes in, nice high comb, and you just sit there with it. It's like, like sort of shooting a glove, I suppose. Nothing very exciting about the action. It's a standard turn bolt levers wound back a bit. What I do like is this heavy plastic knob on the end, which makes operation very easy. Trigger's an absolute peach. It is adjustable, but this thing breaks, I suppose, a little bit of quarter inch of take up. You hit the ball and then probably about two or three pounds, uh, which is really, really sweet. The top of the gun has a 11 millimeter dovetail on there, put most things on. It's also screwed and tapped, so you can put Piccadilly Weaver bases on it as well. The barrel is free floated nicely. Steel trigger guard, big enough to get a gloved hand in in, in the worst weather. Magazine, one of Anschutz's things, a little bit basic on mags, not saying they don't feed because they do, but it's a little bit, you know, workmanlike. You press the button forward, clip drops out. That's a five, you can get tens. Um, if this were my rifle, I'd get a couple of tens for it because I'd just like a few more rounds on the gun. Up front is a Hawkson moderator. This is a rimfire moderator. It looks quite fat and short, but uh, it's very, very quiet as we shall see. Okay, subs are quiet with the moderator. But this, we've been shooting this up against other moderators and it is an exceptionally quiet moderator. You don't need it, you can put anything on there, but we, we've got it. Ruag bring the uh, Hawkson in and I've shot them with the uh, full one and they're pretty good cans. Glass-wise, again from Ruag, we have a Doctor 2.5 to 10 by 50, which is a nice spec, what they call a basic. Uh, quality German scope, illumination, um, really quite nice, and compared to, should we say, Schmitz, Swarovski's and Zeiss, won't break the bank quite so much. We're not, we're not saying it's cheap, but they're probably similar quality for, for, for a bit less money, which, which if you want to go up market, it's quite nice. This one is quite strange. It has a single dot as the reticle. Um, it's probably been made by the Germans for probably things like wild boar and driven game shooting. Um, for a rimfire shooting, I find without the crosshairs, I, I don't get a register on I don't, I don't really like the reticle, but that doesn't stop the gun from shooting. I've been banging this in the morning and with RWS's own 40 grain subsonic. Um, it was pulling easy half inch groups of 50 yards. I think with a with a different reticle, sort of cross type reticle scope, I reckon it will go sub half inch without too much trying. And you can push it out to 100 with, with again good accuracy, good enough to take rabbits and hares in the body, or if you want a cheeky headshot, if you think you can do it, all the better. But overall, not particularly cheap, but Anschutz never are. It's a very very nice feeling, it just feels confident and nice. It's like you drive a nice car, that sort of thing. It just feels right. Control wise, very simple. Two position safety catch, forward is fire, rear is safe, but the bolt doesn't lock, which is quite useful for unloading. Mag release is this rather little flush fitted button here. Not a big fan, I'd like to see something better, but that's how they make it, and it wouldn't put me off buying this rifle. So we've got the RWS subs, we've been running these again, they say they shoot a good easy half inch, um, clocked them at 10,000, so at 1,022 feet per second, uh, and you're get, getting about 97 foot pounds, which is pretty much the average for 2.2 subs. Um, so far they've proved very effective, we've taken it out tonight to go and shoot some rabbits with it, but um, I don't really have any, any troubles um, on what it's going to do when it gets there. So, safety first, let's put our air holes on. Clip in. So, safe fire.
It's going to be about a bit of fiddly, but uh, overall, a very nice rifle. I think I'd sell both of my T-35 bolters to buy this. So I'll catch you later.